want to discuss how to alter the lead in and lead out. Currently we see toolpath number six, a contour. The default lead in is to arc in through a 90 degree sweep with a tangent line to this arc and again to arc off and another tangent line out and then wrap it up. I created this geometry here because I want this to be the arcing in of my part. I don't need this arcing in and I don't really need the arcing off. I'm just going to extend this contour out. So how do I alter that? Well, I go to the parameters for the toolpath I wish to change. I go to lead in and lead out. So here's the information for the lead in arc. It's tangent. If I switch it to perpendicular, the little graphic here shows you what will change. If I want to copy over anything I make to the lead in to the lead out, I can use this arrow or vice versa. If I want to copy what I've done in the lead out to the lead in, I can use this arrow. First I just want to show you what changing the entry line from tangent to perpendicular will do. So I'll go OK and I'll regenerate the toolpath and here we can see the difference. I'll go back into the parameters, lead in and out, turn it back on. I can also change the length of the arc as a percent of the tool. I can force a ramp. So if I add a quarter inch ramp here, we'll do one thing at a time. I'll go OK, regenerate the toolpath. And to see that, we'll look at the front view. And we can see, I'll just spin around the ramping down. It'll actually show better in the right side view. All right. Here's my ramping of a quarter inch. Let's go back to isometric view. Fit the screen and back into the parameters. If I wish to turn the entry arc off, I'll just uncheck that. So I'll say OK, regenerate my toolpath, and you can see the entry arc is off, and it just feeds right down onto the geometry, which is what I want it. So we'll go back to the parameters. I can do the same type of manipulation to the exit arc as I can to the entry. So I can shorten the line to 50% of the tool or 150% or anything I want. So let's have a look at that. I'll go OK, regenerate the tool path, and the line is significantly shorter. Here, we're probably going to hit our part. So we'll go back into parameters, change it back to tangent, say OK, regenerate, and now we won't hit our part. So back in parameters again, what else can we do? We can use an exit point by choosing it from the screen. We could exit only on the last depth of cut for depth cuts. We could tell it to retract below the last move. And we can override the feed rate on our exit arc and entry arcs. So I played with the line. If I want to shut the line off and just have an arc, I make the length 0%. So we'll accept that regenerate the toolpath and we can see how the line is gone. So back into parameters. If I want to adjust the arc sweep I can change it to 45 degrees. Again we always get a preview. I'll go OK, regenerate it and I ha now have a 45 degree sweeping arc instead of 90. So I'll go back into parameters. I'm going to turn the exit off the overlap is for when we're going completely around a contour, how much the tool should overlap at the beginning and end. But what I want to do in this case is adjust the end of the contour. I can also adjust the start of the contour on this side. So I'm going to enable adjust the end of the contour. By default it's set to shorten. I want to lengthen it. I can lengthen it as a percent of the tool. So I could say 50% of the tool. If I want to go another 100 thou beyond that I can go plus 0.1, enter. And I'll go OK, regenerate the toolpath. What we should check before we go any further, if this is what I do, will that tool clear the part before it lifts up? I can check that in the backpot simulator or the verify. So I'm going to look at the right side view of my part, and I'm going to go into the backpot simulator. I'll step it through. So there we come out, we can see we have cleared by that 100 thou, and it will lift up and we're okay. Go back to the isometric view. So any changes I wish 
to make to my lead in lead out are done by selecting the parameters, going to the lead in and out, and adjusting whichever parameter you want. So to this toolpath I'm going to do the same thing as I did to my previous toolpath, and I'm going to extend the exit by just over 100 thou more than the cutter, go OK, regenerate the toolpath. So in each case, my feet down, we'll just shield, turn off the cut lines for this toolpath and show these cut lines. So here you can see I feed down, use my geometry I created for arcing in, through the part, go up, over, back down, and same process. So now I'm happy, I'm going to save my work.